I was 19 when I got to Vietnam. Matter of fact, it'll be 50 years ago, the 10th of April that I got there. And uh, I was a clerk typist that had an alligator mouth and a hummingbird behind. And became a grunt. And uh, got blown away twice and came home and got retired. Well, the All-American Beef Battalion is uh, very special. Uh, it was founded because I saw the media trying to treat these young men and women the way they did to us when we came home. And I just thought, how can I support them? And I've done two things in my adult life, the United States Marine and the Cattlemen. And so I just tried to put the two together and came up with the idea of doing state feeds for troops deploying to, Viet to the war zones or coming home or the wounded warriors. And, and went to Jim Oval with the idea about 10 years ago. And he just looked at me and said, we can do it. And uh, took a little while to get it off the ground, but at this point we've served over 350,000 troops and family members in 25 states. And the appreciation, we're trying to thank these young men and women and they're thanking us because they can't believe that people care enough to do something like that. And uh, it just, just very uh, emotional for me. You know, because it's uh, a lot of people are putting a lot of faith in me, and that's uh, I appreciate and guard that trust very closely. Well, yes, I, I actually came with Spirit by accident. I was uh, on my way to sign a contract with one of our competitors, and ran into a guy that was with Spirit at the time. So I stopped to ask him how they would made their commissions. And it actually paid me better to be with Superior. And so Bob looked at me and said, let's just partner up. We'll split everything down the middle. And that's what we did. Everything from rural America makes this country better. You know, it's, uh, you know, and what we can do, this is the part of the evolution in cattle marketing that, you know, it started with the trail drives and then the, the markets at the trailheads and the railroad, and then the sale barns, and you know, it just adds so much to the health of the cattle, even you know, because of our programs that we have and the cattle not being commingled with cattle that are been stressed, etc. So it just it's good for the whole industry. Well, they aren't just customers; they're friends. I mean. Uh, they trust you so much, and uh, uh, even when my wife passed away, I didn't know, most of them even knew it, and they all showed up at her funeral. Yeah, they're friends. We're gonna be there for each other. I mean, yeah, whether it's at sale day, handling the Western guy stuff, or uh, a time when I had a friend of mine that was a rep got sick and he was in the hospital, and so he called me up to see if I'd come ship for him, or, you know, it's just, we got each other's back. It's, uh, to me, as close as I can get in civilian life to serving with a bunch of Marines where you got their back. Just tell it like it is. You know, it, one of the finest compliments I had was from a lady buyer that bought for some uh, corporate yards. And she said, Bill, I like to buy your cattle because I know when they come off the truck, they'll be as good, if not better, than you've got written up. In other words, you just don't need to window dress them. Just tell them like, call them like they are, and and because uh, our our customers depend on the rep's reputation, and so if we have good reputation, we're going to get along fine with their cattle. My last and biggest goal was superior was to go over a half million head sold and delivered, and. Uh, you know, it was, uh, it's been quite a ride.